Hey everybody, welcome to the Phil Studio. Are you tired of those cheap network cable? Today we're gonna build our home with the help of this cool crimper. Okay, great. First of all, you must get some Cat5 cable, which is a four twisted pairs cable. Then, choose the length, and what's great about this crimper is that you may cut the cable with it. Also, you may want to get these great connectors called Easy Cat5. Those connectors are awesome and I use them all the time. Now, if I may suggest you strip the cable with the appropriate tool available on the crimper, then what you want to do is gently stretch each wires so they get straight. Let's look at the wiring. There is two protocols for Cat5. One is the A and the other one is the B. For me, I don't really give since in order to have a regular network cable, both ends has to be the same. Unless you want to make a cross cable, but we won't talk about it today. By the way, after this video, you should be able to make both A and B connectors. Today, we're making a B Cat5. So the easiest way is to place all the wire in the right order and squeeze them in your fingers. Then cut them all equally to finally slide them in the easy Cat5 connector. Note where is your pin 1 so you get your connector the right way. Once the wires are in the connector, just double check if every wires are in there and if the wiring is good. Finally, you're gonna want to crimp the connector and this crimper is so nice it's gonna cut the accident of wires for you. So that's about it. Now that you're done with both ends of the cable, it's time to test. You may just plug this into the computer or whatever machine you have, but I recommend that you don't. Uh, personally, I use this pretty decent cable tester. Price may range from twenty to thousand dollars. Mine is forty bucks and it's working great. Plug it in, power it up, and watch the lead goes. And now about that cool crimper. I've noticed after several uses that the blade was sometimes not cutting all the wire. And that's okay since the little knife may get tired after a hundred use. What's nice about all that is that you may remove that blade and replace it. It's really simple, you just have to remove one screw and then swap the blade and screw back a new blade. So everyone, I hope you enjoyed the tutorials, there will be more coming soon. And so, uh, see you next time.